This screencast is made possible by I Show You, part of Shiny White Box. To view it, go to shinywhitebox.com. Hey guys, Tim here from Tech Stuff. Today I'm offering you another Final Cut tutorial, and it's going to be on the most used fade in and out effects or video transitions in here that, that um, look professional, like, well, for TV and stuff. So what I have in here is this footage of my sponsor reels that I know you all love. I Show You. And then it like goes back. Cause I don't have anything else. Like I guess I could get some images. Yeah, I'll do that for you. I'll get some images. Oh, there's this really cool image I found right here. That's an Apple logo. So we'll insert that. You know, just by dragging it and inserting it there. And then we'll go ahead and insert it there. Okay. So now to do this, you know, go to your little effects tab up here. And we're going to be looking at these ones. So your stuff will be like this. Go to video transitions and go to, the first one we'll try is additive dissolve. So we're going to put that on these things right here. And just by dragging it there. And we'll see, you can put it on the beginning of that or in the end of this one. We're going to put it right between and I'll, I'll zoom in to do this. So like here. So see, we can put it on this one or on that one, but we don't want to cut them off like that, so we just want to put them in the middle. So there it is right now. And now we'll go back and watch the video, watch it over here. We'll go to the beginning. I show you. There's a product of the company, Shiny White Box. For more information, you see how that nicely faded right here? Watch both. I only had it on the text, so I will have it on both now. Watch this. See how that goes? And then you can edit it by double clicking on it. It'll come up. If you double click, you can't do it for text, but if you double click on the video layer, you'll see we can change it so it's a slope down. So now, when you watch it, it slopes itself down. Or you can make it so it just gets really low and then slopes itself up. The of the company, shiny white box. Anyway, the second one is cross dissolve, which is my favorite. And you just, you know, we'll drag in between those. Now watch. Because that looks cool. I mean, all Hollywood movies do that, you know? We'll watch over here. It just looks. I love that logo, by the way. Um, And like I said, here too, you can change it by going up. By double clicking on the effect and then going up to the little triangle right there, and you can see different ways. Third one is dip to dip color dissolve. That one's pretty cool. If you watch it, you know we've just been dragging it. It's more of like a PowerPoint thing almost though, because you know it goes out and comes in. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of the effects we've just been putting on. Okay. And then there's Dither Dissolve, which this one requires a render. So I'll render that real quick. See, the ones that are bold don't require renders. Let's see, this one! I don't like that. It looks too PowerPoint-ish. And I, if you know me, I don't like PowerPoint. Fade and Fade Out. Now this is really nice. Because it just fades. And, you know, I'm just going to get rid of this text because it's in the way. So... See, but a lot of people don't do the fade in and out. And then there's non-additive dissolve. We'll put right here. I hope this zooming's working okay. See, that looks pretty cool. That's one I usually use. Actually, I usually use cross dissolve because it's my. It just works nice. And I have it set on this thing, and then you can always set it to start and look different, but I don't. And then there's always the ripple. Which requires that it rendering. It doesn't take that long. And the ripple dissolve. We'll get rid of the text. This is what the ripple dissolve will look like. Now that one's pretty. I have to admit that one's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll do some more tutorials later. Okay, I need tutorial requests. I don't know what anyone wants in Final Cut. I just don't. I mean, there's so many things I could do. I could show you how anything Final Cut. Or Mac. 
Email me, please. Text stuff at gmail.com. Or leave comments, please. <laughs> Even if you don't like it. And subscribe, please. Please. I need ideas now. Or, I'm just kidding. I'm not threatening. Please just do it. Please. I show you is a product of the company Shiny White Box. For more information, go to www.shinywhitebox.com.